for any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check out G2A.com. And if you need any Ultimate Team coins, then head over to you, FIFA. The code CHEZ will get you a discount on both sites, and all links are down below. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 34 of the Chelsea career mode here on FIFA 15. We're up to three games an episode now that we're out of the transfer window. If you missed any of the action from said transfer window, then feel free to check the channel page for anything you may have missed with the previous couple of episodes because there were quite a few deals that went through, so it is definitely worth catching up. And of course, considering we're now playing a rather weakened side against Gillingham, you won't have any of the uh, the new signings spoiled for you by this point if you do want to go back and have a quick look. As you can see, starting a, uh, a very, very heavily rotated side. In fact, starting the hotly tipped Ashley Posher. He's that young kid we were able to get through the scout system, the youth scout system. Five star skills, seven 25 rated at 16 years of age and uh, he's got like 88, 89 dribbling etc. His uh, uh, technical stats are actually genuinely outstanding. It's only really his physical and his mental attributes that need a little bit of improvement. You can see him here getting involved. Cheeky little fate Rabona to, uh, to set up Marco Van Ginkel who does really well. They're unfortunate not to pick up a goal actually. Strikes it off the post. Of course he has uh, effectively replaced William Carvalho in the rotation stakes for those holding mid spots that are currently held by uh, by Cesc Fabregas and of course Nemanja Matic as well. But Posher proving that he wasn't going to be outdone by some of the more experienced heads on the pitch like Didier Drogba up top etc. Proving that uh, he definitely is worth this out for perhaps a rotation spot of his own considering we are we are perhaps going to be giving players like Junior Malanda and uh, Lucas Piazza on some extra first team football this year as well. So uh, this is kind of going to be my uh, my my tendency when it comes to cup football. Nice little scoop turn there from Posher again and a decent shot. Unfortunately not to score there as it comes back down off the bar. He was having a real impact in this game and making a genuinely fantastic impression on me. I didn't know what to expect of him to be completely honest. He's six foot tall but only has like 48 strength so I wasn't sure whether his dribbling was going to uh, you know going to be able to be fully shown but uh, you can see here just absolutely tearing people apart and clearly got a fantastic shot on the end of that as well nice little McGeady spin followed by a left footed strike a cross goal into the far corner and on his debut the young 16 year old is probably the uh, the hottest talent in our squad including players like Eden Hazard etc I think he's got overall potential of like 93 94 is what the uh, the scout was telling me nice little McGeady spin and then a really tidy shot I was hoping to try and get him some loan football but I'm almost glad he hasn't gone out on loan because if he can have that sort of impact for me now, obviously, it's against Gillingham, and he will be uh, rather uh, more sternly tested later on in the season. But he's made a good impression first off, and hopefully he can have the same sort of impact in bigger games. So we'll have to wait and see. And then, finally, we were able to get a second goal as well. DDA drop but rounding things out. A comfortable win away from home against Gillingham, as you may have expected, despite the uh, the young side that we put out. A 2-0 victory, and... Uh, exceedingly pleased with how that game went actually because there were a lot of players in there that I wasn't too sure about like Todd Kane like Posher etc and uh, you know they did very very well for me indeed but we're back to Barclays Premier League action now away from home at Upton Park playing against West Ham here is your team news. Wholesale changes for Chelsea. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Gary Cahill starts with Kurt Zuma in central defence. Emmanuel Matic comes in for Lucas Piazon who's disappointed recently. Loic Remy is the main striker today. A much more recognisable starting eleven for this game away from home. Of course, we do actually have a, a rather large Champions League tie against Atletico Madrid coming up in just a couple of days. So not a full first team out for this one, but definitely a much improved side from the one that played against Tuning. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we can have a similar result. As you can see, Ramirez nicks the ball off them here. Matic is going to slot through like Remy, races away, and the goalkeeper makes a really good reaction save, Adrian. But unfortunately, we, we aren't going to have another chance from the corner. Remy clearly incensed at the fact that the uh, the linesman put his offside flag up but he did so and it was just about the right decision but only by about four inches but still low it was offside we don't get the corner and uh, we stay at nil nil West Ham actually were uh, particularly good in this game in real life actually they're having a fantastic season and Monka here there's a really tidy finish sweeps it around Thibaut Courtois and they take a one nil lead in the 28th minute like we say West Ham as well as Southampton in fact in real life this season are having a real stormer of a start to the year and actually are they second and third in the t in the table? I think they might be. As I record this, they might be. Uh, so I'm not sure where they'll be when you see this, but I think they're second and third. I'm not really taking into account last weekend's results, though. 
bearing in mind uh, the Manchester derby, etc. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, West Ham, we know, are a very, very good side is the point I'm trying to put across. So we definitely need to step things up to try and get ourselves back in it. Ross Barkley comes close here. Again, though, Adrian with a good reaction save to tip that one over the top of the barn. We stay 1-0 down. Still trying to get ourselves back in it, though, if we possibly can before half-time. Willian driving around the left-hand side, finds a lot of space in, I just tried to settle myself for the cross, took too long, it took a deflection, and then there seemed to be some sort of miscommunication between the two West Ham defenders as Ross Barkley just threw himself at that one, in fact you'll see from the replays, I think he gets a boot to the face for his troubles, there's a bit of a miscommunication there, the first guy, the guy in front, leaves it for the guy behind, who races through, misses the ball, and the second guy, you can see there from the replay, Ross Barkley, he just gets a boot to the shoulder, maybe not quite hitting him in the face, really brave header from Ross, and that gives us uh, some parity in the game we're back on level terms at 1-1 hoping then in the second half to get ourselves in front if we possibly can look Remy turns the uh, defender with real ease there it's a real disappointing finish actually from the Frenchman expect better from him considering the amount of goals he scored last season and the amount of interest being shown in him this season considering the, uh, the amount of activity we had in the transfer window just gone for him involved again here probably actually had enough time to bring that down and try and find a bottom corner with a, a finesse shot but so I decided to go for the acrobatic and it wasn't the right decision went straight at the goalkeeper Hulk involved again though playing the ball down the line to Ross Barkley steps inside well tries to find the far bottom corner but the, <laughs> the shot actually hits Remy on the heels there and eventually Adrian the Spanish goalkeeper is able to clutch at the ball at the second attempt and unfortunately we only come away with a 1-1 draw so that's two away 1-1 draws so far in the league this season not what we might have wanted especially considering one of them was uh, against West Brom a 1-0 draw away against West Ham specifically a West Ham side that as we've said is pretty decent is not the worst result in the world although of course you would want to win as many games as possible at Chelsea but we're into the Champions League now this Atleti game that I mentioned earlier and of course we'll start with the team news Here's the Chelsea lineup. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Sergio Ramos plays with Gary Cahill in central defence. Eden Hazard starts with Hulk on the flanks. Diego Costa is the lone striker today. The Atletico Madrid lineup. Miranda starts with Diego Godin as the centre backs. Gabi starts with Mario Suarez in central midfield. In attack, Mario Mandzukic partners up with Alessio Cerci. So an even stronger lineup in this one for us. Of course, a, an extremely strong first team. Almost every single player, I think, that you would presume would be in this, this particular Chelsea starting lineup is in it. And Cesc Fabregas almost gets us off to a great start. Tidy little finish that hits the outside the post. And Atleti, as we know from the other career mode that we have on the channel, are an extremely good side. They've got. Asmir Begovic in goal here in the second season though, a real interesting signing and one that actually I was thinking of for the uh, the Atletico series. So uh, perhaps I may follow up with that when we get to the second season which is coming up in that series. But uh, that aside, they're playing a 4-4-2 which is a formation that I don't play at Atleti. I play a 4-2-3-1 but they're playing a 4-4-2 and it seemed to be working okay in this one. They definitely were pretty solid defensively. So you can see we are having chances but none of them really clear cut apart from that Cesc one in the opening few minutes where hopefully or should he have had a better finish it would have been uh, an easier chance for us Carver Howell here draws a good save at the goalkeeper Costa though with an open goal and a what a block from the defender sliding in on the line I think it was Diego Godin but I'm not entirely too sure but he did particularly well to get back there cover the, uh, the space left behind by his goalkeeper and Oscar here is going to find a great ball over the top to Diego Costa brings it down really well just about gets it under control but can't quite toe poke it into the back of the net we stay at nil nil we're having the chances though to get ourselves in front but actually Atleti at the start of the second half are going to have one of their own. Working the ball about really nicely here. Loads of first time shots. Unfortunately for me, Thibaut Courtois is good enough at his near post to block out Alessio Cerci there. And we stay 0 0. So I made a couple of changes to try and freshen things up. As you can see, two changes in the midfield Oscar and Matic off for Ramirez and Ross Barkley. Barkley, of course, scored the goal in the previous game. So hoping he could have a similar impact here. And he is involved in this particular move, getting the ball around the outside of the defenders. He's going to play the ball back to Eden Hazard, who gets it around said defender again good shot well saved but actually it's Hazard on the end of the uh, the save as well the knockdown and he makes it 1-0 in the 78th minute 
exactly what we deserved from uh, from this game so far and the amount of chances that we'd had but I would have liked to have gotten it from something that wasn't a dodgy rebound but we're into the uh, the stoppage time at the end of the second half now trying to get a second just to put the game to bed if we possibly can Hulk turns inside here he's got electric pace Hulk really notice that since so bringing, bringing him into the club just lightning all the way down that right hand side unfortunately though Eden Hazard is a little bit wasteful at the back post this time but it wasn't to cost us so we do get all three points from this group stage game and uh, they're three points that we may need actually because it looks like a tough group with Schalke, Atleti and Spartak Moscow being the uh, the other three teams so it's a strong group and as you can see two sides have made a strong start to the Barclays Premier League Man United and Spurs both winning their opening four games the only two sides to do so there's five of us still unbeaten all told the top two ourselves West Brom in fact the side that we drew with yesterday so maybe that wasn't such a bad result considering the start they're having and Southampton and as you can see down at the bottom Arsenal in 19th after four games one draw three defeats I don't know who they've played so uh, I can't necessarily say that it's a horrific start if they've played like Man United Spurs and Man City then you know that might be uh, arguable as to whether they might have come away with that points tally but a disappointing start regardless for Arsenal fans but hopefully for them they will improve and hopefully we can go higher than third in the table where we currently are and of course that's where we finished last year would like to finish higher hopefully go for the title that is the plan this year of course picking up the FA Cup and Champions League double in the first season so the uh, the Premier League is my main concern in this second year so thank you very much for watching guys that's going to bring this episode to a close of course feel free to hit the like button if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already as I record this we're getting close to 31,000 subs we should have hit it by the time you see this on Friday afternoon so if you want subscribed and you would like to do so there's a link down below and of course your normal subscribe button as you can see on the end slate also links down below to Twitter Facebook and Instagram if you want to follow me there and as you saw in the intro links to g2a.com and ufifa.com should you want any PSN Xbox codes or ultimate team coins and the code Chez will get you a discount on both of those sites but that's all for today thank you very much for watching guys we'll have an Atletico Madrid career mode episode later on tonight and then of course my player will return tomorrow